Hi everyone, it's Farmer Georgia here up in the Mammal House. Now, we've been very busy up here this week. We've had some brand new arrivals. We've already met our brand new armadillos, but we have had one more. He's our newest one. He is a Northern Tree Shrew and he has a brilliant name. He came to us with this name. He is called Michael Shrewmacker. We love his name so much. Um, we are gonna go and see him. He's hanging out in his brand new enclosure. He's still settling in a little bit, so he's still a little bit nervous, but we have found him that he is calming down a little bit now. So I think it's a great opportunity to uh, go and see what he's doing. So here we are, we're in our tree shrew enclosure. It does look a little bit like we are in the jungle, but that's all on purpose. So these guys, they come from Southeast Asia. So places like Burma, places like Indochina. So they live in the rainforest. So that's why I've set it up in here to look like his natural environment. He is arboreal. So that means he likes to climb the trees. So we've got all these branches in here for him. And if you come to see him and you're not sure where he is, look up is the best piece of advice I can give you. He's probably up in the branches on top or sometimes on the heater. <laughs> and actually he is on the heater right now nice and toasty up there for him and it's a good view for him up there he can sit all the way at the top and just view everything that's going on so with him being so new still he is still a very very shy we do expect with a little bit more time he will get a little bit more friendly but he's never going to be one of those really confident animals that are going to be coming all the way up to you as soon as you come through the door so we are going to give him you know that respect and that little bit of space but as he settles in you may see him coming up to the glass and coming up to see you guys just that little bit more now he's on his own at the moment, that's absolutely fine, but we are planning on finding him a mate hopefully very soon. We'll find him a female and fingers crossed we can breed them here at the farm. So northern tree shrews, the same as all shrews, they actually aren't rodents. Now it's a big misconception that they are and it's understandable, they do look very much like little rodent creatures, but actually unlike rodents who have the buck teeth that are designed for gnawing, shrews they have very very spiky teeth and these are designed to eat insects so they're actually closer related more to moles and hedgehogs than they are any of the rodents so they eat things like insects they like to eat things like seeds and nuts any fallen fruits and other smaller little animals as well so they will actually eat tiny little rodents if they come across them so we are still on that lookout for a female fingers crossed for one if we do and if she hasn't got a name already we are going to carry on with the shrew pun theme and i think we are going to call the shrew barrymore so fingers crossed for that one we are all very excited but we're going to leave it there now guys we're going to leave him to it to settle in a little bit more so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you all again later Bye bye